Hello, and welcome to this introduction to the Young Hoosier Book Award program for the intermediate grades of 4 and 5 for the 2015 and 2016 school year. This is Mrs. Fad here in the Media Center at Fox Hill Elementary School. What's the purpose of the Young Hoosier Book Award program? This program is designed to encourage Indiana students to include more current literature as part of their recreational reading. Last year, more than 70,000 students participated and selected Wonder as their top choice. How are these books chosen? Students, teachers, and media specialists from around the state nominate books they have read. The author must be an American who is still alive and the book should have been published within the past five years. A committee reads all of the nominated books, maybe even up to 80 or 100, and then they vote for the 20 that they believe should be the best on the list, representing a broad range of current literature. What are some of the things we do here at Fox Hill as part of this program? We try every month to have a literary lunch where we can talk about the books we're reading. We have a voting party on the voting day. And finally, people who meet their Young Hoosier Book Award um, goal celebrate with the end of a year of the year party. So, what books are nominated for the 2015-2016 school year? The first book is Africa is My Home, A Child of the Amistad by Monica Ettinger. What do you know about slavery? You've probably learned how in the 1700s and 1800s, Africans were taken from their homes, how they were chained and crammed into the cargo holds of ships and spent weeks in dark, filthy, and depressing conditions crossing the Atlantic Ocean. You may have even learned about the term triangular trade and how that system perpetuated the slave trade. Thinking about all you know about slavery, did you also realize that children were brought to the Caribbean and American colonies to be sold into slavery? Children your age were taken from their families and homes, taken from everything they were familiar with, crammed into slave ships, and sold to the highest bidder. Can you imagine that? Africa is My Home is a fictional story of one of these children, Sarah Margru Kinson, nine years old. She has many adventures throughout her life that are discussed in this book, beginning with her first trip across the Atlantic, from Africa to the Americas. The next book is Almost Super by Marion Jensen. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Would you prefer invisibility, speed, strength? How would you feel if you were actually given a superpower at age 12? In this book, Almost Super, that is exactly what happens. For years, the Bailey family has used their super superpowers to protect the world from the evil Johnson family. However, Something is a bit strange when Rafter and Benny get super lame powers. How will the boys fit in with their super family? Will they finally overpower the evil Johnson family? If you think you can handle the mystery and action that are packed into this book, open the cover and prepare for an adventure. The Blossoming Universe of Violet Diamond did you ever have a dream that's so good you wish you could save it forever instead of having to go back to that place in your mind where dreams become quieter than whispers? Quiet like snowflakes falling? And it's such an awesome dream that makes you so happy that right after you wake up, you rush to write it down because you just can't let it evaporate into nothing? Did you ever have a dream like that? Last night... I did. This is how the blossoming universe of Violet Diamond begins. Do you believe dreams are trying to tell you something? Join Violet as she begins a journey to help her understand more about herself. The Boy Who Loved Math 
The Improbable Life of Paul Erdos by Deborah Heigelman. Have you ever been so interested in something that you can't get it out of your mind? Paul Erdos loved math in that way. He saw numbers and math everywhere. He loved it so much that his mom and caretaker did everything else for him. Read this book to see how exciting math was for Paul Erdos, what struggles he had, and how unique his life was because of his love of numbers. Ever wonder what happens to those dirty and smelly socks that get lost under your bed for many months? The next book is By the Grace of Todd, written by Louise Galveston. Well, those socks usually just sit there, growing more and more smelly. But not Todd's socks. Todd's socks have created life. That's right. His socks are so nasty that they have helped grow tiny, ant-sized people who live off of the dirt and grime. The Toddlians are amazing. But what will happen when a bully named Max finds out about them? Will Todd be able to save his creations from a terrible fate? Read By the Grace of Todd to find out. The next book, Daredevil, The Daring Life of Betty Skeleton by Megan McCarthy. Betty Skeleton always wanted to go really, really fast. She wanted to fly and flew a plane at age 12. She was a stunt pilot in her 20s. Then she wanted to drive really fast and was the first woman to drive an Indy car. She wanted to go fast on water and became the first female boat jumper. Then she looked up into the sky and thought, I wonder how fast I could go in space. Read Daredevil. The Daring Life of Betty Skelton to find out about this amazing, really fast woman. Doll Bones by Holly Black There comes a time in everyone's life when it is time to put away the toys and grow up. For Zack, that time is now. His father has thrown out his action figures and he doesn't know how to let his friends Alice and Poppy know. These toys were a part of their ongoing imagined world of play. Poppy claims she is being haunted by the Green Queen, an antique porcelain doll. The Great Queen claims to be the ghost of a young woman who says she was murdered by her father and says she will haunt Zack, Alice, and Poppy until they bury her in the proper grave. Is this true? What will the kids have to do? Read Doll Bones to find out. Dorco the Magnificent by Andrea Beatty. Did you ever dream of dazzling your classmates with the most awesome performance of your life? Robbie Darko is a magician, but despite his best efforts, something always goes wrong with his tricks. In order to become a famous magician, he must overcome his challenges. Not starting fires, avoiding a strange grandma, and convincing others he's not a Dorko. Read this book to find out how Robbie perseveres and how he gets help from an unexpected person. Electrical Wizard, How Nikola Tesla Lit Up the World by Elizabeth Rausch. We've all heard of Thomas, and Thomas Edison and his great contributions to our lives. But have you ever heard of Nikola Tesla? He spent much of his life trying to figure out ways to make electricity run more smoothly, fighting his way through several obstacles, and with much hard work and determination, 
Tesla made some amazing discoveries and inventions that would change human lives forever. Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris Grabenstein. The real challenge isn't getting in to Mr. Lemoncello's library. The real challenge is actually getting out. Twelve-year-old Kyle Keeley enters an essay contest and wins an overnight stay in his hometown's new and technologically enhanced town library, funded by Mr. Lemoncello, a board game creator. Once inside the library, Kyle and his fellow essay winners discover that they will need to play their way out of the library using clues left by Mr. Lemoncello in the ultimate board game, Come to Life. Frogged by Vivian Vandy Velt. Princess Imogene was not a particularly good princess, especially according to her mother. So when asked by a frog she encountered to kiss him so that he could return to being a prince, Imogene decided that a good princess would do as he asked. But what happened when she did kiss him was not at all what she expected. Now her life is upside down, and she has to decide how to get back to who she really is. Gone Fishing by Tamara Will Weisinger Have you ever looked forward to doing an activity with just you and your parents? Then how would you feel if your brother or sister asked to join you? Sam has been preparing his tackle box for a special fishing trip meant for him and his dad. Then his little sister gets permission to come along. Do you think they will still have a good time? The Great American Dust Bowl by Don Brown Sunday, April 14th 1935 dawned bright and clear. Blue skies and warm sun showed no sign that the day would bring the most ferocious dust storm that the nature, nation had ever seen. A storm that would turn the sunny day pitch black, drop the temperature 50 degrees, and bring winds that sounded like a train. It was like the end of the world. They called it Black Sunday. In this graphic nonfiction book, the Great American Dust Bowl tells the story of Black Sunday and the period of drought and hardship that hit the plain states in the 1930s known as the Dust Bowl. It is a sad and shocking tale of the worst environmental disaster in United States history. Uh, oh, just practicing. How do you burp in space? And other tips every space tourist needs to know by Susan Goodman. Do you want to go to space? Then this book is what you need. Get trips from the experts, astronauts. Learn how to get there where to go, what to do, and most importantly, what to eat. You might also learn how to burp in space. Odette's Secrets by Marianne MacDonald Odette is an only child living a happy life in beautiful Paris until the Nazis invade and change everything. Because these German soldiers are taking all the Jews away to death camps, Odette is placed with a farm family in the country. There she must pretend to be a Catholic and not reveal her Jewish heritage. If she fails and gives away her secret, 
she and everyone else in the house where she hides will be taken away by the armed soldiers. Will she be able to keep the secret, or will the villagers find out? The pet war. Would you like to have a dog for a pet? Or would you like to have a cat for a pet? Can you imagine if you and one of your siblings wanted different animals? Well, what if the only way to get one was to raise $500 faster than your brother or sister could raise $500? This is the case for 11-year-old Otto, who wants a dog, and his 12-year-old sister, Lexi, who wants a cat. Otto is the narrator of the pet war, and he is determined not to have a cat in the house. But Otto just can't seem to work steadily to raise his money. He jumps from one idea to another, from one job to another, often getting himself into trouble. Meanwhile, his perfect sister, Lexi, seems to be on target to earn her $500. Or is she? Pet War is a fun book full of great dialogue and action that will have you cheering for one character or the other. It may just depend on which animal you think might make the best pet. Rutherford B. Who is he? Poems about our presidents by Marilyn Singer. He was loyal to a fault and to trusting surrounded by scoundrels whose schemes were disgusting. This line comes from a poem by Marilyn Singer about President Ulysses S. Grant. She has written poems about all 43 of the United States presidents. Some of the poems are funny, some are sad, some are inspirational, while the in illustrations by John Hendricks are full of detail and add extra information. You will find a treasure of facts and entertainment in these poems about American presidents. You'll even find out which president got stuck in a bathtub. The Secret Tree by Natalie Standiford. What kind of secret would you write? if you thought you were going to stuff it in a tree where it would stay forever. And then what would happen if the secret would blow away with the wind? Raymond and Minty found secrets that said, I'm betraying my best friend in a terrible way. And no one loves me except my goldfish. What do these secrets mean? And what will Minty and Raymond do now that they know them? Read The Secret Tree to find out. The show must go on. What do Leo the Lion, Elsa the Elephant, and the Banana Brothers have in common? They are all performers in Sir Sidney's Circus. The best circus in the whole wide world. Read this book to find out what happens when mean old Barnabas Brambles takes over and almost ruins the show. Wild Born by Brandon Mull. If you could share powers with an animal, what animal would you choose? And what power would that animal have that would help you? In the ancient world of Erdas, children, in the year that they turn 11, discover if they have a spirit animal, which gives them greater power and strengthens their weaknesses. Four ordinary kids from areas throughout Erdas bond, not only with a spirit animal, but special spirit animals called the Great Beasts. The wolf, leopard, panda, and falcon. When Erdas is threatened, 
Will these powers be enough to save it from destruction? By now, I bet you're wondering where you can find these books. We have several copies of each of these books available in the Fox Hill Media Center. All of these books are also available at any branch of the Indianapolis Marion County Public Library. And many of these books can be purchased at bookstores or from the Scholastic Book Fair here in our own media center in the fall. Enjoy your reading. We will look forward to talking with you about the books and seeing you at the end of the year party when you've met your goal.